guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to be going over my favorite travel tech gear. Now before we begin, I just want to mention that none of these products are sponsored. These are all products that I purchased with my own money. So my reviews are sincere and they're all products that I use on a regular basis. All right, so with that being said, let's start this video. I have lots of exciting things to show you today. All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about are tech organizers because you definitely want a way to keep all your wires and all your tech organized while traveling. So if I'm traveling with a lot of tech, I usually like to bring a larger tech bag like this. This one is great because it actually has two layers. So the top layer here is dedicated to all your wires and it can hold smaller items like your SD cards or your flash drives. It also has like small pockets to hold some smaller items. And then it has a second layer at the bottom that actually holds larger items. So here I have an external battery, I have my charging blocks, and I also have a little camera, a little point and shoot camera here that I like to travel with. And there's also pockets at the top for some smaller items like this. And in the back here, you actually have a pocket where you could just like slip in your phone or some other larger items like that. Now the bottom can actually be configured any which way you want because it comes with dividers that just Velcro onto the sides to fit whatever accessory you need into this bag. Now when I'm traveling with a little less tech, I actually opt for this travel grid instead of that tech organizer. This is much smaller and it's just so practical because it lies completely flat. So it's really easy to slip into my carry-on bag and slip right out when I need to access like my wires or my earphones. Now what's cool about these travel grids is that you can pretty much put any item that you want onto this grid. It basically has these crisscrossing elastic bands that holds any kind of accessory no matter the shape or the size. And you can actually get these travel grids in several sizes. I just bought myself an 8x10 travel grid just because I find it's the perfect size to put into my backpack. Alright, so now let's talk about the tech that I like to bring when I'm traveling. So the first thing I always travel with is a phone. Nowadays too, the phones are so technologically advanced and they have such great lenses on them that these double up as cameras. So you can just basically bring your phone and you have everything you'll need for your trip on this. You can take pictures with it, you can film with it, and you can use it as an entertainment center. So I'll usually download a whole bunch of like movies and music onto here so that I have something to entertain me while I'm flying. The next piece of tech that I always travel with is an iPad. It contains all my games, my books, all my TV shows and movies that I want to watch during the flight. And I much prefer watching my entertainment on this instead of a phone. It's just, you know, less strain on my eyes. So an iPad is just always so practical when you're traveling. The next item that I highly suggest investing in is a flexible device stand like this. This is really great. This is from the company iFlex. And what's really cool is that you can fold this into any shape you need to, to actually hold any device. So whether it be your phone or your iPad, so that you can comfortably watch your movie or your shows during the plane ride. Another great thing is that you can actually use this as a phone mount. So you're just gonna fold it into a U shape like this and you're gonna use the tray table to hold the back panel here. So this basically holds up the phone for you to watch it at eye level. That way you don't get that neck strain that you do when you're watching your phone uh, in a downwards position. Another great thing about this flexible phone stand is that you can actually use this as a charging station to hold multiple devices that you need to charge at the same time. So it basically creates a little charging station for you while you're traveling. Now, of course, when you're traveling, you're definitely going to want to bring something to listen to your shows with. I suggest that you invest in a good pair of wireless headphones. These are great because, you know, they collapse down for travel and these are much more comfortable to wear on your head for longer periods of time than earbuds. Now, if you are tight on space, then maybe headphones is not the best thing. You might want to look into investing in a set of earbuds like this. These are great. They're from the company Soundcore by Anchor. What's great about these is that they're super small so they can easily fit into your pocket. You can just 
slip this onto your ear and they also have noise cancellation which is really great when you're flying with them another thing you always want to travel with is a power bank you definitely want to be able to recharge your devices on the go now when choosing your power bank size is definitely an issue you definitely want to pick something that's not too large but you also want to check the capacity that it holds now this one I've had for years it actually holds 12,000 milliamp hours which is really great because I can use this to charge my phone and my iPad at the same time now I actually just went out and purchased a new power bank. Uh, this is actually a gift for my husband. He doesn't know about it yet and that's why it's still in its original packaging. But what's great about this power bank is that it has wireless charging. So it's perfect if you want to charge your phone quickly without having to carry extra wires with you. You can just set your phone on this power bank and not have to worry about any kind of wires dangling out of your bag. Another thing I highly suggest bringing when you're traveling with a lot of tech is either a power bar or a wall adapter like this. Often when I'm traveling, most hotels don't have enough plugs to plug all my different devices into. So I like to travel with something like this that I could just plug into the wall and then I have access to multiple charging outlets. This one actually comes with six AC outlets and four USB outlets. Another thing I always carry in my tech bag is a little mini tripod like this. This is just so practical to travel with just because uh, it just makes holding your camera or your phone that much more comfortable. If you're taking a picture in low light, you know, you can set this on a table or in a trash can and use the tripod to, you know, let in more light and really get a perfect night shot. I also like to travel with a little phone adapter that just fits right on top of this tripod and this little kit actually comes from the company Manfrotto and they make some really great camera equipment. Another thing I always travel with is a selfie stick. I mean often I'm traveling alone for business and I do like to take some pictures of myself especially if I'm visiting a new place and this one is great because it comes with a little shutter button here to take a picture of yourself from a distance. And it collapses down into this really small selfie stick so I can just throw this into my purse or my backpack and always have this on me. Now if you're looking for a really great little compact camera to travel with, I highly recommend Sony's ZV-1. This is a great camera because it comes with a really great lens. It's super compact so you can slip this into your pocket or into your purse really easily. It also has some really great intelligent settings. So if you're somebody who's never dabbled with photography before, you can just pick up this camera and go and you're going to get some really amazing pictures and footage with this. Now if you are going to bring a little camera like this, I do suggest that you carry around a little camera bag to protect your camera and also to hold all the extra accessories you'll need for the camera. Now if you are going to invest in this camera, I also suggest that you buy a couple of extra batteries. The battery life on this camera is not that great so you know I have a couple of extra batteries that I carry around when I'm touring. Now another thing you're gonna have to bring if you're bringing a camera is an SD card. I do suggest that you get a higher capacity SD card so I like to travel with a couple of these 64 gigabytes SD cards. Especially when you're traveling, you don't wanna be changing out your SD cards every five minutes. That is usually enough to hold all my footage and all my pictures so that I don't lose anything during my travels. Now, if you are gonna be editing or working on your pictures or your videos during your travels, I definitely suggest that you bring along a laptop like this. And I do suggest investing in a little portable SSD card. This one is the Scan Disk Extreme. What's great about this one is that it's waterproof and it's super small and compact, so it's really great to travel with. This one has one terabyte of storage on it and it comes with these little wires so that I can easily download the pictures onto my laptop. Another item that I wanted to show you is actually on my camera right now so if I take it off the sounds not gonna be that great but you know what I'll do it anyway. Aha! So it's the Rode Microphone Go. This little microphone is amazing it just improves the sound quality on your camera so much more and I even have a little adapter that plugs into my phone so if I'm recording myself during my travels I'll use a mic like this instead of the built-in mic on the camera or in the phone that just seems to bring my videos to another level. 
All right guys, so that's pretty much all the tech that I like to travel with. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tech or accessories that you like to travel with. And if you like the content of this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Happy travels.